Hello, my name is Jeremy. I'm an instructor here. And welcome to our program on behalf of CDL Truck Services. We would like to welcome you where the distance is worth the results. Right. So now we'll start with our A card, all right, which is also considered our front engine compartment. While doing so, we want to start with our front approach. On our front approach, we're going to start with our three L's. That's when we mentioned that our truck is not leaking and our truck is not leaning. Then we cover our lights, all right? So when I do start, I want to give myself some distance. My truck is not leaking. My truck is also not leaning. Up top, I have my cab lights. They are securely mounted. They are not cracked or broken, and all nuts and bolts are present and tight. They are amber in color, and they are functional. Here I have my headlight assembly. It is securely mounted. It is not cracked or broken, and all nuts and bolts are present and tight. It consists of a high and a low beam, which are white in color, and they are functional. I also consists of a left turn signal, a four-way flasher, and my running light, which is amber in color, and it is functional. Also, we have our reflector. It is amber in color and it is visible. Then we'll go here to our side fender marker light. It is securely mounted. It is not cracked or broken and all nuts and bolts are present and tight. It is amber in color and it is functional. Then we'll go to the front and open up our hood. All right, so now we'll come on this side and we'll cover our unique items, all right? We'll start with our coolant reservoir. My coolant reservoir is securely mounted, not cracked or broken. Nuts and bolts are present and tight. It is not leaking and it is filled to the proper level. My cap is securely mounted, not cracked or broken, and it is not leaking. My hoses, they are securely mounted. They have no abrasion, bulges or cuts, and they are not leaking. Here I have my alternator. It is securely mounted. It is not cracked or broken, and all my nuts and bolts are present and tight. My wires, they are securely mounted. They are not cut or spliced. It is belt driven. Also, I have my water pump. It's securely mounted, not cracked or broken. The nuts and bolts are present and tight, and it is not leaking. The hoses, they have no abrasion, bulges or cuts, and they are also not leaking. And my water pump is also belt driven. My belt running my alternator and water pump is securely mounted. It is not cut or torn, and it has no more than three quarter inches of play. Now we'll go to the driver's side and we'll finish out our engine compartment. So now we'll start on the driver's side. I'm gonna start up here with my oil cap. My oil cap is securely mounted. It is not cracked or broken, and it is not leaking. Here I have my oil dipstick. It is securely mounted. It is not cracked or broken. The nut and bolt is present and tight. To check my oil, I will remove my dipstick. I will wipe it clean. I will reinsert it, pull it back out, and this should read above the field line. If needed, this is where I will add my oil. Then here I have my air compressor. It is securely mounted. It is not cracked or broken, and all nuts and bolts are present and tight, and it is not leaking. My hoses have no abrasion, bulges, or cuts, and they are not leaking. My acupressor is gear driven. Here I have my power steering pump. It is securely mounted, not cracked or broken, and the nuts and bolts are present and tight, and it is also not leaking. The hoses have no abrasion, bulges, or cuts, and they are also not leaking. Then I'll go here to my steering shaft. It is securely mounted. It is not cracked or broken. All nuts and bolts are present and tight, and it has no more than 10 degrees of play. And my U-joints, they are properly lubricated. Here I have my power steering reservoir. It is securely mounted. It is not cracked or broken, and all nuts and bolts are present and tight. It is not leaking, and it is filled to the proper level. My caps, they are securely mounted. They are not cracked or broken, and they are also not leaking. My hoses have no abrasion, bulges or cuts, and they are not leaking. Here I have my gearbox. It is securely mounted. It is not cracked or broken. All nuts and bolts are present and tight. My hoses have no abrasion, bulges or cuts, and it is not leaking. Here I have my pitman arm, my drag link, and my tie rod, also considered as my three-piece linkage system. It is securely mounted. It is not cracked or broken, and the nuts and bolts are present and tight. They are secured with ball joints, castle nuts, and carter keys, and my ball joints are properly lubricated. Back here I have my frame. It is securely mounted, it is not cracked or broken, and it is free from any illegal wells. Here I have my top and my bottom shock mounts. They are securely mounted, they are not cracked or broken, and the nuts and bolts are present and tight. My shock itself is securely mounted, not cracked or broken, nuts and bolts are present and tight, and it is not leaking. Then I have my front and my rear leaf spring hangers. They are securely mounted, they are not cracked or broken, and the nuts and bolts are present and tight. My leaf springs itself are securely mounted, they are not cracked or broken, nuts and bolts are present and tight. They are not scissoring or shifting, my leaf springs are mounted to my axle with U-bolts and locking nuts, and they are all present and tight. Then I will come out here to my brake system. Here I have my ABS wire. 
It is securely mounted. It is not cut or spliced. Then I have my brake air hose. It is securely mounted. It has no abrasion, bulges the cuts, and it is not leaking. Then I have my brake chamber and my brake chamber clamp. They are securely mounted, not cracked or broken. The nuts and bolts are present and tight, and it is not leaking. Then I have my push rod and my slack adjuster. They are securely mounted. They are not cracked or broken. The nuts and bolts are present and tight. To check my adjustments, I pull on my slack adjuster and my push rod should not travel no more than one inch. Then I will go inside here to my brake drum. My brake drum, it is securely mounted. It is not cracked or broken, and it is free from any debris. My brake liners, they are securely mounted. They are not cracked or broken, and they are also free of any debris, and I have at least a quarter inch of thickness on my padding. Here I have my inner and my outer rim. It is securely mounted. It is not cracked or broken, and it is free from any illegal wheels. Then I have my inner, my outer, and the top part of my tire. It is securely mounted and seated around my wheel. It has no abrasion, bulges or cuts, and it is not leaking. The top part of my tire is evenly worn, and I have at least 430 seconds of tread depth. Here I have my lug nuts. They are securely mounted. They are not cracked or broken, and they are all present and tight. They show no sign of rust trail or shiny metal, which would indicate a loose or broken lug nut. Behind my cap, I have my hub seal. It is securely mounted, not cracked or broken, and the nuts and bolts are present and tight. It is not leaking, and it is filled to the proper level. Then I have my valve stem and cap. It's securely mounted, not cracked or broken. The nut is present and tight, and it is not leaking. This is why I would check my tire pressure with a tire pressure gauge to ensure I have at least 100 PSI. Now, that would be the end of my A card. After finishing my A card, I would go to my coupling system and cover my coupling system. Then I would go to the end cap and cover the end cap, including my air brake test. When starting the B card, you would want to start with your unique item, which would be on the passenger side. So we would start with our exhaust. So my exhaust. It is securely mounted. It is not cracked or broken. All nuts and bolts are present and tight, and it is not leaking. Here I have my mirror frame. It is securely mounted. It is not cracked or broken, and all my nuts and bolts are present and tight. My door is securely mounted. It is not cracked or broken. The nuts and bolts are present and tight, and it is free from any holes or intrusions. My door handle is securely mounted, not cracked or broken. The nuts and bolts are present and tight, and my door handle is working properly. Then I would go on the inside and I would point out my hinges. My door hinges are securely mounted. They are not cracked or broken and the nuts and bolts are present and tight. My fuel tank is securely mounted, not cracked or broken and it is free from any broken wheels. My fuel tank straps are securely mounted. They are not cracked or broken and the nuts and bolts are present and tight and my fuel tank is not leaking. My fuel cap is securely mounted, not cracked or broken and it is not leaking and my safety chain is present. My fuel hose is securely mounted. It has no abrasion, bulges and cuts, and it is not leaking. Here I have my steps leading to my cab. It is securely mounted. They are not cracked or broken, and the nuts and bolts are present and tight, and they are free of debris. My reflective tape on the back of my cab is securely mounted. It is not cut or torn. It is white in color and visible. Here I have my def tank. It is securely mounted. It is not cracked or broken. All nuts and bolts are present and tight, and it is not leaking. My cap is securely mounted, not cracked or broken, and not leaking, and my safety strap is present. My hoses have no abrasion, bulges or cuts, and they are not leaking. My catwalk is securely mounted, not cracked or broken. All nuts and bolts are present and tight, and it is free of debris. My steps leading to my catwalk are securely mounted, not cracked or broken. The nuts and bolts are present and tight, and they are also free of debris. My frame. It's securely mounted, not cracked or broken, and free from any illegal wheels. My cross member is securely mounted, not cracked or broken, and the nuts and bolts are present and tight. My drive shaft, it is securely mounted. It is not cracked or broken, and the nuts and bolts are present and tight. It is secured on each end with U-joints, which are securely mounted, not cracked or broken. Nuts and bolts are present and tight, and they are properly lubricated. My splash guard, it is securely mounted. It is not cracked or broken, and all nuts and bolts are present and tight. Here I have my torsion bar. It is securely mounted, not cracked or broken. Nuts and bolts are present and tight. My front and my rear leaf spring hangers, they are securely mounted, not cracked or broken, and the nuts and bolts are present and tight. My leaf springs are securely mounted, not cracked or broken. Nuts and bolts are present and tight. They are not scissoring or shifting. My leaf springs are mounted to my axle with two U-bolts. My ABS wire is securely mounted. It is not cut or spliced. 
my brake air hose. It is securely mounted. It has no abrasion, bulges or cuts, and it is not leaking. My brake chamber and my brake chamber clamp. They are securely mounted, not cracked or broken. The nuts and bolts are present and tight, and it is not leaking. My push rod and my slack adjuster are securely mounted, not cracked or broken. The nuts and bolts are present and tight. To check my adjustments, I pull on my slack adjuster and my push rod should not travel no more than one inch. And here I have my brake drum. It is securely mounted, not cracked or broken, and it is free from any debris. My brake liner is securely mounted, not cracked or broken. It is also free from any debris, and I have at least a quarter inch of thickness. My inner and my outer rim is securely mounted. It is not cracked or broken, and it is free from any illegal wells. My inner, my outer, and the top part of my tire, it is securely mounted and seated to my wheel. It has no abrasion, bulges or cuts, and it is not leaking. The top part of my tire is evenly worn, and I have at least two 30 seconds of tread depth. Here I have my lug nuts. They are securely mounted, they are not cracked or broken, and they are all present and tight. They show no sign of rust trail or shiny metal, which would indicate a loose or a broken lug nut. Behind my cap is my hub seal. It is securely mounted, not cracked or broken. The nuts and bolts are present and tight. It is not leaking, and it is filled to the proper level. Then I have my valve stem and cap. They are securely mounted, not cracked or broken, and the nut is present and tight. It is not leaking, and this is why I would check my tire pressure with a tire pressure gauge to ensure I have at least 100 PSI. Then I would go here to my mud flap. My mud flap is securely mounted. It is not cut or torn. The nuts and bolts are present and tight, and it is within 8 inches of the ground. Now I will start with my tail light assembly. All right, my tail light assembly is securely mounted. It is not cracked or broken. It is red in color and it is functional. It serves as my tail light, my brake light, my four-way flasher, and my left turn signal. Then I have my reverse light. It is securely mounted, not cracked or broken. It is white in color and it is functional. And then my license plate light. It's securely mounted, not cracked or broken. The nuts and bolts are present and tight. It is white in color and it is also functional. Now we're going to start the C car, which is going to be my trailer. I started my header, which is going to end with the rear of my trailer. Here I have the front header of my trailer. It is securely mounted. It is not cracked or broken, and it is free from any broken wheels. My marker light is securely mounted, not cracked or broken. It is amber in color, and it is functional. My reflector, it is securely mounted. It is not cracked or broken. It is amber in color, and it is also functional. My side rail. It's securely mounted, not cracked or broken, and it is free from any broken wheels. My DOT reflective tape is securely mounted. It is not cut or torn. It is red and white in color and visible, and it covers at least 50% of the side of my trailer. Then I will go up under here to go to my frame. So my frame, it is securely mounted. It is not cracked or broken, and it is free from any broken wheels. My cross members. They are securely mounted, they are not cracked or broken, and they are also free from any broken wheels. My crank handle is securely mounted, not cracked or broken. The nuts and bolts are present and tight, and it is in a secure position. Then I have my landing gear and my support braces. They are securely mounted, they are not cracked or broken. All nuts and bolts are present and tight, and my landing pad is in the raised position. Then I have a side marker light on my trailer. It is securely mounted. It is not cracked or broken. It is amber in color, and it is functional. So my side marker light on my trailer is securely mounted. It is not cracked or broken. It is amber in color, and it is also functional. All right, then I'll come back here to the rear part of my trailer. My torsion bar is securely mounted. It is not cracked or broken. All nuts and bolts are present and tight. My front and my rear leaf spring hangers, they are securely mounted. They are not cracked or broken, and they are free from any broken wheels. My lead springs, they are securely mounted. They are not cracked or broken. The nuts and bolts are present and tight. My lead springs are not scissoring or shifting, and my lead springs are mounted to my axle with two U-bolts and locking nuts, which are all present and tight. Ma'am, this is a non-ABS trailer. So, my air hose is securely mounted. It has no abrasion, bulges or cuts, and it is not leaking. My brake chamber and my brake chamber clamp it's securely mounted, not cracked or broken. The nuts and bolts are present and tight, and it is not leaking. 
My push rod and my slack adjuster are securely mounted. Now cracked or broken. The nuts and bolts are present and tight. To check that, to check my adjustments, I will pull on my slack adjuster and my push rod should not travel no more than one inch. My brake drum is securely mounted, not cracked or broken, and it is free of any debris. My brake liners are securely mounted, not cracked or broken. They are also free from any debris, and I have at least a quarter inch of thickness on my padding. My inner and my outer rim is securely mounted, not cracked or broken, and it is free from any illegal wheels. My inner, my outer, and the top part of my tire is securely mounted and seated to my wheel. It has no abrasion, bulges, or cuts, and it is not leaking. The top part of my tire is evenly worn, and I have at least two thirty seconds of tread depth. My lug nuts, they are securely mounted. They are not cracked or broken, and they are all present and tight. They show no sign of rust trail or shiny metal, which would indicate a loose or broken lug nut. Behind my cap is my hub seal. It is securely mounted, not cracked or broken. Nuts and bolts are present and tight. It is not leaking, and it is filled to the proper level. Then I have my valve stem and cap. It's securely mounted, not cracked or broken. The nut is present and tight, and it is not leaking. This is why I would check my tire pressure with a tire pressure gauge to ensure I have at least 100 PSI. Now I have my reflector. It is securely mounted, not cracked or broken. It is red in color and functional. My rear marker light on my trailer is securely mounted, not cracked or broken. It is red in color, and it is functional. And now we will be at the back end of our trailer. All right. Now I'm gonna start at my trailer tail lights, all right? My trailer tail lights are securely mounted. They are not cracked or broken. They are red in color and they are functional. They serve as my tail light, my brake light, my four-way flasher, and my left turn signal. They are red in color and they are functional. My mud flap is securely mounted. It is not cut or torn. All nuts and bolts are present and tight and it is within eight inches of the ground. Then I have my rear marker lights on my trailer. They are securely mounted. They are not cracked or broken. They are red in color and they are functional. My license plate light is securely mounted, not cracked or broken. Nuts and bolts are present and tight. It is white in color and it is functional. My trailer bumper is securely mounted. It is not cracked or broken and it is free from any broken wheels. My DOT reflective tape on the back part of my trailer is securely mounted. It is not cut or torn. It is red and white in color and visible, and it covers at least 100% of the back of my trailer. Once I complete my trailer, I will go to my coupling system to cover my coupling system. Then I will go to the end cap to finish up the end cap and my air brake test. All right, so now we'll cover our coupling system, which is gonna include our electrical lines, our air lines, and also our 10 parts to our fifth wheel system. So I'm gonna start with my electrical line. All right, here I have my electrical line. It is securely mounted. It is not cut or spliced. It is secured on each end with my safety latches, which are securely mounted, not cracked or broken, and the nuts and bolts are present and tight. My air lines, which would be, which would be my emergency and my service lines, they are securely mounted. They have no abrasion, bulges or cuts, and they are not leaking. They are secured to my tractor with my air fittings, which are securely mounted, not cracked or broken, and they are not leaking. They're secured to my trailer with glad hands, which are securely mounted, not cracked or broken. The nuts and bolts are present and tight, and they are not leaking. My rubber grommet on the inside of my glad hands show no sign of dry rot, and they are also not leaking. My apron, it is securely mounted, it is not cracked or broken, and it is free from any broken wheels. My skid plate is securely mounted, not cracked or broken. The nuts and bolts are present and tight. It is properly lubricated, and I see no gap. My pivot pin is securely mounted, not cracked or broken. The nuts and bolts are present and tight, and it is properly lubricated. My platform is securely mounted, not cracked or broken, and it is free from any broken wheels. My frame rail and my mounting bolts, they are securely mounted, not cracked or broken, and the nuts and bolts are present and tight. My release handle, and my safety latch is securely mounted, not cracked or broken. The nuts and bolts are present and tight, and my release handle is in a locked position. My locking jaws and my kingpin, they are securely mounted, not cracked or broken. The nuts and bolts are present and tight. My locking jaws in the locked position around my kingpin, 
and my kingpin is properly lubricated. So that would complete my coupling system. Now I would move on to my end cap. So I'm gonna start with my seat belt. My seat belt is securely mounted. It is not cut or torn. The nuts and bolts are present and tight. My seat belt latches and it unlatches properly. And my seat belt is fitted to me. So here I have my three DLT triangles. They are securely mounted. They are not cracked or broken. The nut and bolt is present and tight. They are amber and red in color. Here I have my fire extinguisher. It's considered an ABC type fire extinguisher. It's securely mounted, not cracked or broken. The nuts and bolts are present and tight. It is fully charged and it is in service. And here I have my spare fuses. At this time, I'm gonna do a safe start, all right? My ABS light came on and it went off. It is working properly. My driver and my passenger mirror are securely mounted, not cracked or broken. The nuts and bolts are present and tight. They are clean and clear, and they are adjusted to me. My windshield is securely mounted, not cracked or broken. It is clean and clear, and I have no obstructions. My windshield wipers are securely mounted, not cracked or broken. The nut and bolt is present and tight. The blade is not cut or torn, and it's pressed firmly against my windshield. My wipers and my washer fluid are both working properly. My defrost is working properly and my floor heat is working properly. So my oil gauge is working properly and rising to the proper PSI. My temperature gauge is working properly and rising to the proper temperature. I showed I have 14 volts, which means that my alternator is charging my batteries. My speedometer I'm gonna get whenever I do my service brake test. My fuel gauge is showing three quarters of a tank. It's working properly and we showed I have enough fuel for our trip. My governor did cut off, which means my primary and my secondary are both at 120 PSI. At this time, I'm gonna cover my indicators. My left turn signal indicator is working properly. My right turn signal indicator is working properly. My high beam indicator is working properly. And my four-way flasher indicator is also working properly. My city horn is also working properly. All right, so now I'm gonna start my class B air brake test. All right, so I'm gonna start by cutting my truck off, putting it back into the on position, and I'm gonna release my brakes. So I'll start by holding my brakes for one minute and I should not lose no more than three PSI. I'm listening on the outside of my cab and I'm listening on the inside of my cab and I hear no audible leaks. It has been a minute and I did not lose no more than three PSI. At this time, I'm gonna fan my brakes down to around 60 PSI and my warning light and my buzzer should come on. My warning light and buzzer is working properly. Now I'm gonna fan my brakes down to between 40 and 20 PSI and my tractor valve should pop out. My tractor valve did pop out. It is working properly. All right, so now I'm gonna restart my truck and allow my pressure to build back up. And during that time, I'm gonna step out and I'm gonna unchalk my wheels.
While doing so, I will main, make sure that I maintain three points of contact. And again, while entering the truck, I'll still maintain my three points of contact. And the first thing I want to do is put my seatbelt back on. All right, that was my governor cutting back off, which means that my primary and my secondary are both at 120 PSI. Now I'm going to start my tug test. All right, I'm going to tug on my tractor brakes. All right, my tractor brakes are holding successfully. Now I'm going to do my service brake test. I will do so by going up to five miles an hour and showing that my service brakes are working properly. I will also cover my speedometer. My service brakes are working properly. My wheel did not pull to the left or to the right. And again, my speedometer is also working properly. That will conclude my class B air brake test. <laughs>